Hello skiers, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Transport Fever in the Alps again. Uh, we are starting today's adventure in Biasca, uh, which is uh, kind of where we finished up last time round, uh, waiting for uh, one of the uh, the Japanese commuter services to turn up. Now, I've, uh, I've allowed the game to roll forward by an entire year since you were last here. I know, it was pretty adventurous, isn't it? Um, uh, largely just to see how we were doing uh, financially. And uh, if I press the right button here, you'll see last year we made $116 million in profit. That's $116 million. Game over. I've won. There we are. That's that's that. I've, I've finished the game. We're all done here. Uh, I will have to work extraordinarily hard in order to hose it from this point on, but I'm going to give it a best shot anyway. Uh, so yeah, I spent uh, one million on new vehicles. I, I replaced some uh, some buses, uh, but other than that, uh, I, I, I largely left it alone. Uh, this year, what have I bought? I bought oh, I bought a, <laughs> I bought a jet plane uh, to transport some goods. Uh, we'll go and have a look why in a moment. I uh, just wanted to have a look at the uh, the lower valley into city, uh, which as a route is just about managing to make a profit. If we have a look, uh, last year 350k in in, uh, in the green. This year it'll probably be about the same amount, and that's fine. Um, we'd like it to do a little bit more because we're only filling 50% capacity at the moment. Um, but in order for it to do more, we need to develop. Develop. Uh, you want to see the jet plane, don't you? All right. Okay. Let's go and have a quick look at that, and then then we'll get to work. Uh, it's a cargo jet is what we bought, just one. And obviously, it's not actually here, but this is uh, this is the route that it's flying on. And this was largely because I wanted to get this backlog moving uh, a little bit faster. And planes, I believe, uh, allow each other to overtake while they're in the air, which is a good thing. Um, but yes, I've got quite a quite a big backlog there, which is going to uh, have a detrimental effect on the throughput of goods throughout this particular route. So, uh, so I added a jet in order to uh, to hopefully mitigate some of that. Uh, but I've got to find the thing. If you want to look at it, I've got to, There is an easier way, you know. We can we can rather than searching by eye, uh, if we go for the that one and then this. As you can see, it's an eclectic bunch we've got on here. There we go. There's my jet We're coming in to land at the other end. There we go. Uh, so yes, yeah, so this should, uh, all being well, uh, have a positive effect on the uh, on the throughput for this route, uh, which will help actually. Well, it will help both ends, uh, both in terms of uh, getting some getting some more go from the the goods delivery system. Although, as you can see by the train coming in here, uh, what are we looking at? 306 capacity, 231. That's that's not so bad. Uh, how are you doing money wise? See, making making good cash, uh, and that's true across the whole of that network. There are very few lines now that aren't making good money. Anyway, back to Biasca, because uh, you know, shouldn't let myself get distracted. We want to we want to keep this tight, um, keep keep everything flowing fluidly. Uh, anyway, right, Biasca. So today, what we're going to do, uh, we kind of alluded to it last time round, um, but I'm going to bulldoze the station at Biasca, which is you know quite chancy of me, I think, um, and uh, and replace it with a larger station. I had a notion that to round out the series, what I'd quite like to do would be to put a major passenger hub in somewhere. Uh, it's, it's a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, and I want to run passengers from Erolo uh, down the mountainside with some kind of bridge action uh, that hooks up onto the main line here before heading into Biasca. Uh, here, uh, which we will then continue onwards, uh, stopping off in Bellinzona, which may cannibalise a little of the lakeside, but uh, if you look at the number of passengers waiting, we can afford to do that. Uh, and then heading down, 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 to Volan by Bern, um, a, another city on the, uh, on the grow, as it were. Um, because by connecting these up, what we, uh, what we should end up with... You know, what it's what it's what it's conceivable that we end up with is greater demand for for several uh, of the services that we're using, not least of all the Looper and the Riverbank Hypertrain, uh, which is one of those that are losing cash. So why don't you uh, put a coffee on and uh, we'll uh, we'll crack on after the intro. See you in a bit.
So I can hear you already. You're going, really? Oh, wow. One extra service. Yeah, that's a major passenger hub you're creating there. Well, look, you know, from, uh, from small beginnings, uh, larger endings happen. Uh, so, I mean, I haven't even evaluated this, and that's, that's fatal. Usually I'd have a quick look before I, I made such grandiose claims, and uh, we'd, uh, we'd look at that. Now then. Colain, terrain alignment collision is to be expected, so we're colliding with our, our stop there. 10.1 million to bulldoze everything we need to bulldoze here. I, I, I'm at the point where we're spending the money, people. Uh, that's that's going to happen. Um, but we also we want to uh, we want to up the up the length of this. So since it looks like we're all clear at the moment, let's uh, let's hit pause and uh, and see just how much bulldozing I'm setting myself up for. Because uh, it's it's going to be a bit, isn't it? It's it, we, we are going to bulldoze a fair amount. I've gone with five tracks there. Uh, I think I think we might. Uh, no, we'll stick with five. Five is if five isn't enough. Uh, I mean, I would imagine it's going to be more than enough. I, I would I would say that six was probably more likely. So anyway, let's get to work on uh, on just arbitrarily trashing all of this lot. Yeah, yeah, get it happening. Uh, yeah, no, I, I wasn't kidding. No, I am. I'm. I'm taking a wrecking ball to all of this lot. Uh, they can just rebuild themselves after we've laid in the future. Uh, I might. Leave. They might. They might make the cut. Then again, they might not. Sorry, chaps. Didn't make the cut. Uh, right. Yep. Yeah. Welcome to uh, welcome to brutal town management with me, Colonel Failure. Uh, right now, then that should be sufficient uh, but I'm not going to upgrade the station I'm going to nuke it and build a new one there we are right now we've got some uh, we've got some, we've got a couple of services in there so the lakeside traveler at the moment and the uh, and the lower valley transport thing um, they both uh, they're both turning services so what I'd want to do is give them their own uh, dedicated uh, dedicated platform to make that uh, as easy as possible. There we are. Right. Ruined. Uh, so uh, so now, next job is... Uh, let's find a station that we like the looks of. If such a thing exists. So we don't want the open cut station. Although that will be fun to play with in the next series. Uh, I'm going to play with a lot of these things that I've not yet uh, really, really investigated. I'm going to play with a lot of those in the, in the next series. But uh, not in this one. Uh, this one we've we've uh, we've got enough to contend with as it is, uh, right? Number of tracks, five, five, five should be plenty, um, if not excessive. Uh, right? Let's uh, there we go. That's gonna that's gonna line up like a champ. Uh, make sure we've got high speed. Make sure we've got second street connection. Perfect. And then we'll take that as close as we can to uh, to the existing existing setup. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna need to work on uh, quite a few things here by the looks of it. And you know what? I'm, I think I might have to spin this round the other way. And you can see already that the uh, the, the 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 frame rate at which it wants to do this stuff is uh, well, uh, you can't really call it a frame rate, more as a kind of a frame notion uh, that we got going on here. But there we go. That'll do it. Nice. Now then, if you if these tracks over here don't wish to comply, there's a there's a very simple solution to that, and that will be uh, that we, we, you know, we we hurt them with uh, with all manner of uh, all manner of brutality. Now, are we electrified up here or not? I can't tell from here. Certainly, yes, we are. Okay, right. I did electrify the station. I did electrify the station. That's. Uh, that's one error bypassed there immediately. So here we go. This is the uh, this is the commuter route, and uh, and we're going to make life easy for that by having it come into one platform. Too much slope. Not too much slope. Not too much slope is the way we want to go. So this one here is going to be the uh, the lakeside. Uh, this uh, this platform one as we look at it. Um, my goodness me, this this uh, this station is uh, is enormous. Uh, but uh, but that's all good, and then we'll 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 throw that. Actually, we'll throw that up to there. Hold on, think it through. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's your plan? 
my plan is, uh, in essence, it's to um, uh, have many trains coming out of here. Right. Okay. So if you want many trains coming out of here, this is by far and away going to be your happiest route uh, that already exists. However, you might want to do a direct peel off uh, and head through to Locarno, bypassing Bellinzona. So make that kind of a, a high-speed route. In which case, Platform 1 would be most gratified were you to uh, assign it in that fashion. All right, okay. Uh, so, Platform 2 is going to be coming in over here. In fact, everything's going to come into there at some point. For this this will all make sense. You can uh, you can rest assured. I I do have a notion of of what I'm trying to get up to here. Uh, let's take that as far as there, uh, and then pull the next one back as well. That's pretty ugly. We don't like it. We're going to go forward a little bit more. And part of the reason for going forward a little bit more is so that I can get a road bridge over the top. So I'm going to replace that bridge that I bulldozed, which obviously wasn't going to work. Um, just just left as it was. Uh, right, let's put a, a switch in there. And see, look at that. It's not even fighting me. It uh, it knows that the uh, the tide of history is uh, is lapping at its uh, at its shores. Or something like that, uh, and therefore it has it has decided that compliance is the is the best way to survival. All right, and then we'll go along here like that. Is that what we need, or do we need to go over both sides and then uh, and then diamond it? Not diamond, um, slip, slip junction. Well, regardless, whatever it is you've decided, you've you've made that junction there, which is uh, again rather abrupt, if if you don't mind me saying. Um, and then we'll we'll go out that way, like this, uh, and that can quite happily turn into turn into two tracks there. Is that what you're going to do? Let's think this through. No, it's not. Do that, and then uh, and then take another set from here, and run in parallel. There we go. That's better. Right. Okay. Good. Um, so this then is so here's the lakeside and the lakeside traveller. We want to use. I guess this platform here is probably the way we want to go. And then on the way back out, it can. If I double that one, there you go. Then that's that fixed. So you're going to come in here. I'm going to. I better give it some instructions, I suppose. Uh, hello there. Um, new plan, as it were. Uh, where are we? We're at. Uh, we're at Biasca, and uh, I'm going to need you to come into uh, platform something else. Well, I, but if we if we click the button, it will pull up the numbers, and that will that will make life easier, won't it? Number two, please. There we go. Right. So it'll come in. Do a bit of a switch over. Everything's golden. So as you can see, we're going to we're going to run something else down there in the future. Yes, happy with that? I think we are. Okay, good. Right, that's that sorted. Um, let's uh, let's put a signal on there before I forget about it. Signal on here before we forget about it, and then we'll put a signal on there before we forget about it. And then we'll do something else involving signals before we forget about it. Uh, right about, but in here would be nice. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to. How close is that to the station? Rather closer than I'd like, but uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just you can't uh, you can't beg choosers and things. Uh, right, good, fine. Now that's working. Is it working? It, this guy's going to come in here. That's quite a quite a stiff turn he's got there, but it'll it'll do the job. Uh, and then on the way back, that one could go out that side. Yep, that's fine. Uh, maybe some more tweakage will be required later on, but uh, but I'm happy with that for the moment. We also ought to sort out our uh, our passenger service at this end, just so that it can uh, we can have a, a queue going on 
in case they bunch up. Shouldn't happen, but I have seen it happen, and it's not a pretty sight. Uh, right, okay, so next up is going to be uh, the next dedicated route, which I want to come in on this platform here. Uh, and the good news about that is it's going to uh, it's going to follow the existing track. So from here, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to head up to where Rolo. Now, the big question we're about to answer is: Can I get through this tunnel? Brace yourselves. Could have had terrain alignment collision, didn't, and that's grand. Um, okay, now then. Next job is coming out of a Rolo. We need to get back down again. So, because the the thinking that I've got here is that by uh, by delivering traffic direct to uh, uh, to Biasca from the uh, from the Looper approach, uh, these are some highfalutin names I'm coming up with here. I don't know why I removed that. I'm just going to stick it straight back in again. Um, uh, yeah, by making that happen, then maybe we feed a few more passengers into the uh, into the looper uh, because, well, frankly, it needs it. Um, but we're going to go straight down here, over, and then onto the far side of the uh, onto the far side of the bridge there. I don't know it's 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 a it's a bold scheme, friends, but uh, but that's what we're doing. So uh, let's do that. Right, and then we'll uh, we'll switch these up accordingly. I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, some some further thought there may be uh, may be required. However, uh, let's get uh, let's get some stern bridge work going here. One twenty, no chance. No, no. Let's, uh, let's go with something modern. That's that's maximum downhill. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, right. Well this is gonna be this is gonna be oh so very scenic. Alright, keep going as far as there. How much was that? Twelve million quid? Really? Blimey, you don't get much you don't get much bang for your buck in the uh, in the bridge building gig these days, do you? Uh hold on, let's just if we try not to crash the game and go all the way down to there and connect onto that. Where's the uh, where's the trauma that we're creating for ourselves? Because chance. Oh, look at that! Oh, I've built a roller coaster. I apologise. Uh, it's never my intention to build a roller. I mean, it, I mean, it's a viaduct, obviously, but uh, I have I have created a bit of a roller coaster track here, and that's thirty million quid, which I'm more than happy to spend. But uh, oh, everything you're doing here is perilous. What about getting what about getting over as far as here? Well, that's uh, that's a twenty four million quid investment, but it is doing the it, it, arguably that was a bad twenty four million quid investment because you've now created the need for a a rather significant uh, adjustment. What have you got? Too much slope. Too much slope. Uh, okay. And you also burn quite a lot of speed. All right, so this third this third rail that we got going on there may or may not actually come into uh, come into service. Uh, instead, if we uh, if we head out to there, stuff it. We're we're we're, we're, in, we're invested in this notion, so uh, so we're we're spending the money, uh, and then ah oh, this is where the tunnel might come in handy. Can we get around onto there? You really are slowing down quite a lot by this point, but I want to attack. I want to get it merged with the track next to it. Now this is this is going to prove to be difficult. Let's try a top-down view. Okay, yeah, yeah. Don't really understand what's happening at this point. Well, something's happened there, but I think we've possibly gone underneath the existing tunnel. All right, get rid of that. We, what we do know is that it is possible to get a uh, a third rail underneath that tunnel. All right. So if I take if I take that third rail out now, which again, I've made this I've made life difficult for myself. 
if not uh, if not difficult, then certainly impossible. Nope, that worked. Okay, good. Uh, and there. That's good too. We don't want to wreck it because uh, this is a this is an operational piece of track. There we are. Right, that that feels a little bit happier. Um, oh, you know those times where you go, I have really bitten off more than I should should be chewing here. Well, this is this is today. Now then, do you think? Yeah. Success. Uh, I may have may have just made uh, the smallest of fist pumps there uh, to claim that one. Good. Right now then, I'm only going to get one train up and down there at a time. That's that bothers me because it's not the shortest uh, the shortest hop, uh, and therefore uh, building up demand is uh, is going to be tricky. Right, let's uh, connect you back up. That looks, they, uh, but it looks pretty good. Uh, and then we'll come back out on the main line here, which is not what I said I was going to do. Oh. All right, well, that's that's easily fixed. All right, if we want to go out, if this is going to be my, my Volan high-speed attack route, uh, and we've got, then it's going to be this end platform here. Okay, well, we can do that. The others can all be, uh, all terminate at this end. And some of you may have may have started to, to hedge your bets as to what kind of train uh, one such as myself would uh, would deploy on a line like this one, and you'd probably be right. Uh, yeah, um, I've I've got an idea, and it's a really bad idea, but I'm I'm probably going to do it anyway. Uh, let's do let's do construction not possible. What is possible then? If I want to, if I want to come out alongside there, what if I came in the other side? All right, you feel about maybe we do an internal, an internal merge air. This is purely so that if the, if the mood takes me, I can, uh, I can run multiple trains on here, uh, which means I need some double tracking. Try that, and then go on, get over onto the other line. There it is. That looks promising. I mean, you say promising. Anything could be happening down there. That might not be a complete piece of track at all. I've I've honestly no idea. Uh, I'd, you know what? Add this to my wish list for, for Transport Fever 2. Uh, and that is uh, the ability to see what the hell is going on underground. Uh... Not that... I mean, you know, I, I prefer to run with overground services. Um... But uh, you know, since uh, since underground solves you a few problems hither and and yon, uh, it would be good to uh, to be able to actually see what the heck you're up to. Uh, right now, next one. Uh, I don't want to bridge all the way up there. This is literally just just enough space so that those who wished to pass could do. And uh, especially since I've just lashed out another another sixteen million quid on that. My goodness me, I've, I've really got to stop spending. I have blown my way through an enormous budget in, uh, in moments. And I've not even finished. Uh, right, one there, and then... Uh, that's the right one, isn't it? Oh, up, down, up. No, 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 that, why is that signal facing the wrong way? Unless I'm mistaken. I am mistaken. Okay, carry on. Okay, good. Right, so we come in here, we go through there, we come out on this one, and then we zip uh, stunningly out underneath Bellinzona. What the hell was I thinking? Uh, all the way down to uh, the uh, the line that comes in via this bridge, which if I, if I look at now, I haven't left a massive amount of space there for an additional junction, have I? And when I say a massive amount, I haven't left any space for an additional junction. What we're going to have to try and do is uh, the impossible. Something like that. Well, not that, obviously. Um, yeah, okay. Well, if we, uh, if we fall with this diamond crossing, 
right? And then, uh, and then, if we get this right, uh, apparently you're not electrified. Well, I got news for you. We need electrification for this particular gig, so uh, so get used to the concept of having some wires overhead. Uh, right, we could pull that out to the side. Which way are you facing? Uh, which way am I going? We're going out kind of that way-ish. So we don't need to go that, that sternly. I can go like this. Uh, however, keep it on the flat, at least. There we are. We'll do that. That should do it. Could happen. And then we'll uh, we'll double slip that, which will allow this to continue working. Didn't even need a diamond crossing. Because uh, then we can bring the, the, the service into, well, I don't know, whichever platform we like the looks of better. And uh, and everything will be glorious. And then we'll, sw we'll, we'll swiftly turn that into a... Turn that into double track. Uh, we need to electrify all of this lot. You, you don't need to electrify that far, but I'll allow it if it uh, if it makes life simple. Uh, electrify the station, which I think already is, based on the fact that I can see electrification on the station. Yeah, we're going to say that that's electrified, because it is. Um, and then uh, coming in... In, you're going to want a signal around there somewhere like that and then uh, and then we're uh, we're peachy keen now where does this go because this has got the uh, the hyper route and uh, and the lakeside traveler so where's their merger point it's here look there's there's the merger point are you really running single track up there because that's, uh, that's, that's bold. I'm probably not running enough HSTs on there, you know. I'd, uh, we, could, we could tolerate uh, a little more than that. What are, you, what are you carrying? 37 people. No wonder it's not much of a success. It, you know, you never know. This might actually lead to the, the hyper route picking up a little bit of success as well. But it's, uh, let's, uh, let's just do a quick, a quick estimate of how much we're going to spend on getting this set up. Uh, right. All right. Brace yourself, because this this might uh, this might be exciting. All right. Prices vary from thirty odd to uh, to single digit millions. But that's it. Oh, hold on. We haven't spent for the good bridge yet. No, uh, that's doubled it. Because we're going to want the good bridge. Because uh, uh, we're going to run the only thing that is capable of hitting this kind of speed. Uh, right, we go underneath the coal line. That's all right. It tries to merge with the... We could run it parallel to the coal line for a little bit. Uh, that would be fun. Um, we then go straight through the middle of the goods route that goes out to Volan. All right. Well, 25 million. I can afford that. Uh, if, we can, if we can keep to that kind of budget, uh, what we need to do is... We, we, what... How this is going to work is if I set some kind of, uh, of benchmark, uh, by which I mean some kind of bit of fixed route that we can, uh, we can snap both ends onto. So if we fixed route along there, no, 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 because that's running, that's running with a bit of stone bridge. So we'd want to come along here like this, all right? And then we'll zip underneath it at the other end. But we want to keep the speed as uh, as high as possible throughout. All right, how's that look? I don't know. Are we going to get underneath this next pillar? Hang on. Go that way a little. Keep the speed up as much as possible. There we go. Right, good. Okay, right. So there's the there's my benchmark. Uh, we now need to. I mean, I I realise that and and fully accept that that is a, an entirely inappropriate use of the word benchmark, but it's uh, it feels it feels semi appropriate for the uh, for the task at hand. Uh, and then we'll go this way. Except if we stay airborne a little longer, we can go over the top of uh, of this gentleman here. All right. Hold on. What bridge did you just use? 
Because if you used a cheapy bridge, that's not going to do it. Uh, also, I don't like that. Okay, good. Right, well, concentration face people. That's it. That's better. Good. And you did use the cheapy bridge, which is why the uh, the speed that you're getting there is lousy. Uh, you know what? I actually fancy using a bit of this red girder just, uh, just as a one-off. Right, okay. And then we're aiming for there, which is pretty much a cakewalk from here. So that's, uh, that's all dandy. It's another half million quid we're not going to see again. All right, we'll come down here. Uh... I'm not, where are you aiming for? Is that more or less a straight line? It is more or less a straight line. Although, we might want to stay up a smidge. No, let's take it down to ground level. Let's get rid of the road. Uh, let's get rid of this road. And then... Because uh, obviously, rail takes precedence uh, at all times, given the chance. And... Like so. Right, we're going to have to figure out how that bit of road works, but uh, with the bank, uh, building a quick tunnel under there shouldn't prove to be uh, too much of a challenge. Right, now this is uh, this is arguably a completely redundant bit of double tracking I'm doing here, but it's going to look good, so we're doing it. Get as far as the benchmark. Now, obviously, with this being an inner corner, that's going to be somewhat slower than the one going the other way. Let's get these roads back in. Right, hello roads. First visit for you today. What are you? You look like a, a medium country. Uh, something like that. What do we think? It's a medium country road. All right. They are too much slope. Well, no, what, what I'm thinking is I'm at too much bridge. That's a lot of bridge. That is a lot of bridge. Let's give it a little bit more runway, shall we? Uh, not that this road is, uh, is, is heavily used, but uh, we may as well make it so that it's, uh, it is usable. That's, that's quite splendid. Uh, I mean, arguably, you could use the word excessive rather than splendid, but uh, it, what, whichever one you prefer, it is. All right, good. And then uh, something involving a tunnel that gets to that corner. All right, this is uh, this is going to be a tricky one. Right, and this is not uh, country road. This is uh, in-town road. I tell you, if you're not going to use the special roads, man, you should just you should not have them in the game because they're just making for additional scroll effort. They are medium street. And we go like this. We go under there, and we go onto here. And then, and it's found itself a route, which isn't. It's not the one that I would have wanted it to do. There we are. We can get under, but uh, I don't like that corner, which is a pity because because uh, that worked. All right, let's try going this way, like that, and then get under. Hold on, auto save. Uh, wishes to uh, announce that uh, uh, in light of the fact that the the operations I am conducting at the moment are perilously close to that which may crash the game, it wants to step in and stop me from crying into my microphone. There we go. Right. Okay, right. Okay, we got that. That's all hooked back up again. Thank you, autosave. You're the real hero. Uh, then we've got that going right so heading up to the other end can we now plumb this into the station uh without it causing the end times uh we're gonna need another i'm not gonna use the word benchmark we're gonna need another piece of test track um wind windy mountain track we could come along the, uh, along the side of the mountain all right well let's let's see how we do that using uh using this bit here just go uphill right I want you banked as much as you need to be. How much speed have we got going there? 257, that's pretty good. Uh, and then we want to uh, we want to skirt along the mountainside rather than uh, rather than building any kind of bridge type behavior. Because the uh, the bit of track that we're eventually connecting up to. No, no, no. Keep your keep your altitude there, chief. 
know, we might have to we might have to just zip straight across here, and then you come up with something that is is woefully unsteady. No, let's uh, let's take the same approach as we did with the original Riverside Traveller, and uh, and head along the uh, head along the cliffside. Two eighty sevens, nice and speedy. All right, keep it going round. One thirty eight isn't going to cut it, although it, for some reason it no 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 we are using the uh, we're using the fast corner there. But it's not going to be fast enough. I need at least 200 out of this. If we take this all as far as the full connection, what does it suggest? 23 million is not quick, uh, not, not cheap, but it's more about the speed than anything else. Dropping to 192 at the lowest. Yeah, all right. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then you're looking at the, the parallel track on the on the left hand side of it where's where have i left the parallel yeah see i've got a parallel track on the other side that won't do however that is that is broadly speaking uh the kind of route that that i would find acceptable so let's uh let's pull this one up in parallel to the other one that's there like that uh keep this one keep it going no, actually, we don't need to do anything. It, it had figured itself out. It had got it had got the uh, it had got the idea, and was uh, and was making magic. Now it was twenty four point five million last time. Let's see what we get this time. On to that twenty three point six. It's cheaper. Ah, brilliant. How do, how does that look? And a little bit faster as well. Wow, it's uh, it's my birthday. Uh, Right, okay, good. Yeah. Hopefully this will leave me enough with the trains to actually run up and down the thing. But, uh, you know, we'll we'll cross that bridge in a minute. Um, what about, oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's the town you bulldozed. All right, I'll, I'll have to come back and be nice to them in a moment. Meanwhile, how much are you going to charge me for this? Oh, peanuts. All right, well, by the amount of double tracking I've now committed to on this, uh, I guess I probably ought to run more than the uh, 24 and a half. How much? Come off it. Pull the other one. It's got bells on. Uh, it's got Bellin's owner on. Yeah, yeah, see? All the gags. Uh, right, around there. Okay, maybe this tunnel is, uh, is going to uh, remain singular of track. In which case we need a nice, a nice speedy, uh, a speedy out, because as much as I've, uh, you know, I've been spending uh, tens and twenty millions in the uh, in the dollars without batting an eyelid, uh, my eyelids just batted involuntarily when we looked at that one, and uh, as a result, we're not doing it. I'm not spending that kind of money, uh, not when we've sunk below a mil uh, sunk below a hundred million, having started out at two hundred million. I know it was closer to 230 million, but you know the the principle remains. Uh, right, let's do the same over this side. And then you've got one of those famed Alpine tunnels that only allow traffic in one way. Of course, it won't allow me to merge the merge the rails here. I think this is this may be a limitation on the uh, on the bridge there. Right. 80 is not going to do it. I need you. Uh, I need you. Find out. We're going to have to do it in the tunnel. Don't want to do that. There we go. Merge. Merge. Do the merge. Merge thing. Merge it. There we go. That's it. 238. Drop to 160. No. Uh, drop to 113. Come off it. Come on. 152. 154 seems to be the best we can do there. Okay, right. Um, I'm hoping that that worked. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just have to find out. Uh, and then let's, uh, let's bung some more signals in just to allow some spacing to occur. We shouldn't need these. The, the likelihood I use all of these, uh, these individual bits of signaling is, uh, is incredibly remote. 
but uh, but there we go. We've got it. There we are. That's 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 job done. That's a that's an incredibly aggressive piece of police, uh, an aggressive aggressive piece of track laying done. Um, let's have a let's have a quick tot up of the bill. One hundred and thirty seven million in uh, construction costs. Hmm. Uh, we've we've also spent uh, seven hundred thousand on that. We've spent thirty million on bulldozing. It's been, a, it's been a pricey year, uh, and then some. Uh, right now, let, let's put uh, let's put Biasco back together before we uh, before we continue. Fortunately, I'm on Medium Street already, so we can uh, we can get this this going. Have you pulled away too far there? Maybe maybe a little. Try that. That's better. Right, and then you come round and, and talk to this corner in a in a meaningful way. That's good, right? Uh, we'll also, since we're making improvements, we'll uh, we'll take that around there and allow that to build up. Uh, you keep going, just you know, generally off into the distance, and then uh, we'll bring that down as far as here, and then we'll we'll see if we can uh, see if we can pop ourselves a bridge over there. Not so far. Almost there. It's a success. Nope, we've got a collision. Where are we? That pillar at that end. Okay, right. Well, if we change for my favourite bridge, how's that look? No improvement. Well, let's get the uh, the smoothing gun out and uh, polish this up some and see if that makes any difference. Right, so if we uh, if we invisible all of the scarring that we have inflicted on the uh, on the town, maybe we'll get away with it. Right. Okay. Here we go. Well, that's hideous. No, that's not what I wanted at all. Come here, like that. There you go. That's the stuff. And then bridge me. Collision. Stay. Oh, that's in the same place. Okay, well, in which case, uh, what about what about going the other way? But if we pull that in, this might be counterintuitive, but it's uh, but it might work. All right, just by a little, and then we'll go over again. Because by changing the length of the bridge, even by a small amount like that, you do change the uh, the the desired pillared placements. Now, you could build a whacking great bridge like that, but that's uh, that's really not what we want. Okay, we'll go with plan B here. Uh, and plan B is, you know, use the bulldozer. If you can't do it nicely, you know, nuke some stuff and, and do it the other way. Right, how's that? That would be that would be nice, but it's actually not tall enough. Anyway, there we go. That's got it done. Right. And then we'll uh, we'll whiz that out here some, just you know, for those who who feel like expanding their horizons, and uh, and in the process expanding the horizons of the town. Put that up on there. See, look, there was there was no fuss required with that station. Hold on, there might be some fuss. There's a there's another bit of track there that I need to connect up. And this was this was at least part of the reason we we did this uh, this epic reconstruction in the first place. Stone me, I only got over there. All right, we'll take that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but we'll we'll take it in the interim. Um, all right, grand. Uh, just a bit of random road left over. We'll we'll get rid of that. Save the AI the trouble of trying to figure out what the heck to do with it. Construction not possible. Try. Too much slope. There's not too much slope. There is the perfect amount of slope for everybody. Oh, it's because it's at the end of the bridge. There we go. That's better. And then uh, if we stick one in here, it might encourage a little bit of AI-based building shenanigans. Uh, right. Let's unpause and, uh, and see what we get. I'm going to put this at, at turbos. Uh, and see how the existing services respond to the uh, to the new regime. 
and we should get a we should get a reasonable surge of construction happen fairly quickly given the amount of people that I just put homeless. All right. Well, so far so good. The, the that's the lakeside traveller uh, going. All right. I don't see any real difference. We're just cracking on. My goodness, this station is a whacker, isn't it? Yes, if, a, if whacker is a word we use to uh, describe the size of stations. There we go, that's that chap going as well. How are we doing as far as uh, passenger numbers? 200 and change waiting for the Lakeside Traveller and the Lower Valley's picking up a few as well. Good, right, no damage done. Um, now then, it's time to go shopping. Let's, uh, let's create ourselves a new route. New route. Uh, and it goes from Irolo. Yeah. Okay. And let's uh, let's make the route colourful so that we can uh, keep tabs on it as we uh, as we crack on. Uh, and it comes down. This is the uh, this leg is a is a beast. Uh, it comes into uh, comes into Biasca. In the only the only way it can. There we go. See, we've got some AI build going on here. In I have to say, strange places. It would be it would be heartening for them to build alongside the station, but uh, we'll let them work that out for themselves. Uh, then we go out from Biasca to Volan. This is a three stopper, epic length, uh, kind of a kind of a deal here. Right there we go. All right, and is it going to do the right thing on the way back? Got to check, because uh, if you don't check, you, you end up hosing up things that were working flawlessly beforehand. Okay, you know how you said it was a long way? You, you weren't joking. Right, so is that how you want to run this? Yeah, I think it is. Because uh, number two is the is the lakeside. You should only ever have one train at a time in Biasca at the at the at the, at the worst. All right, good. It's there. Smashing. Right now, then we need to put a train on it, and uh, I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to do that in the next episode. Oh, what a tease! Ah, oh, dearie me, pitchforks, everybody, please. Um, yeah, I know. But uh, but we want to uh, we want to get time for this to bed in and uh, and develop it further. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. What we're going to do next time is going to be uh, dramatic and interesting, and uh, and there'll be plenty of splendid things for you to get behind. Uh, anyway, chuck a like at this one if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you have not done so already, and uh, and I'll be back soon to put you out of your misery. And no, I haven't uh, I haven't named that line because uh, that's that's all part of, uh, of what it's going to be. Ooh, maybe you could speculate in the comments as to what I'm possibly going to build. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you very soon. Cheerio!